When you look at the restaurant world, a lot of times there's a big disconnect between what a chef is actually preparing on a daily basis and what they actually care about. What they do is they work at a restaurant and then these chefs go home on Sunday and they prepare meals that kind of tell their story. And our hypothesis is that people want the food that tells a story. My name is Brian Bordanik. I'm our chief executive officer. Thinner Lab brings together emerging culinary talent in a city, so the number twos, threes, and fours that are at major restaurants that are kind of idling in their career and gives them a platform to cook for an eager audience. So without further ado, audio. So basically we're doing a Colombian menu that my aunt made for me uh, every time I visited Colombia. We never use the same location twice, and we're always in a space that's not a restaurant. We kind of mess with every variable that you can possibly mess with, which basically puts kind of chaos at the center of our business model, which is really challenging, but it also makes for a really interesting product. So if they have an event, something's going to go wrong. There's no doubt. Welcome to New York. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Thank you all. Have a good service, guys. Thank you very much. And you have to be able to roll with those punches and think really creatively on your feet because that's what we do. People pay up front for access to the calendar and with that working capital, we're able to secure our commissary kitchen, um, our employees, all of our training, and basically operate a market. In most of the primary markets in New York, LA, uh, it's $175. And in New Orleans, Austin, Nashville, it's, it's $100 for access to the calendar for, for the year. We know how many people we're preparing for. We never waste food. So everything is done beforehand. We haven't actually taken funding to date. And that's kept our vision really in line with what we want to do. Your feedback that you have on your cards, we actually aggregate all of that. And then our chef for the night will sit down with our resident chef here in New York and go over how to get better. So our members are trying to help a chef develop a menu concept that they actually care about. And the great thing about um, the operation is that we get feedback twice a week per market. What we're trying to do is take a lean startup methodology and really put it on top of the restaurant world. Because if you look at how most restaurant concepts start, it's not until you cut the ribbon, open your doors, and food critics come in that you actually know what you really have there. So if you have a cool concept, let's test it. And we're not like a social dining platform, you know, we're not like trying to save the world or anything like that. But if you think about it, how often do you really dine with people outside of your social group, outside of your racial group, um, with someone who's 20 years older? And what's cool is when you use food as a common medium, you're kind of bringing people together that don't yet know they want to be friends, but will be friends. And that's been really cool.